This is my personal uh, Vermont Castings wood stove. Uh, I purchased it when I moved into my house uh, maybe a couple years ago. It's kind of a piece of junk. Uh, it's one of the most expensive stoves you can buy. Bought it because it was pretty. You know, this is a very pretty looking stove with the little dragons and the cool color. But it has a catalytic converter inside it that reduces the flow of air when it's engaged and it makes it really difficult to maintain a hot fire. Because of the design of this stove and the catalytic technology that it utilizes, um, it's really difficult to get a draw. And it's really disappointing because I spent so much money on this thing because I thought it was really cool and I'm the chimney scientist and I want like a really cool stove and it's a piece of junk. And I can't wait to, if I ever move, get one of the stoves that we install, which are not these stoves, um, called an Osborne stove. Or that, that's a brand, but pretty much any stove that is non-catalytic. So something that doesn't use a catalytic converter to reduce emissions, it uses a more simplistic design called secondary burn tubes to reduce emissions. Wood stoves are really good for the environment compared to an open burning fireplace. An open burning fireplace will produce 100 grams of particulate emissions per hour, where a uh, wood stove today, an EPA certified wood stove, will produce between 1.2 and 3 grams per hour. So that's a huge, huge difference in emissions, which is great, but sometimes, uh, the designs are not very practical, and this is a perfect example of that. Just a big, beautiful stove, but um, it doesn't work very well. 